it is absolutely necessary for everyone watching this out there to understand that when you are on antibiotics, you have to be on a probiotic. I cannot tell you how many people, children, adults, senior citizens are prescribed antibiotics. Now, I'm not here to tell you not to take your antibiotics when it's prescribed for you. You may, you may be prescribed antibiotics to kill bacterial infections which can turn really dangerous in your body and even become life-threatening. Take your antibiotics as prescribed by the doctor, but you have to take a probiotic. And I cannot understand why so many people are prescribed antibiotics without probiotics. Number one, quickly, how does an antibiotic work? A broad spectrum antibiotic works, it enters your body and it is meant and designed to kill all of the bacteria in your body, the good as well as the bad. So in its honest attempt to kill the bad bacteria which is causing an infection or illness in your body, it is also wiping out all of the good bacteria in your gut. Now we have to understand that the human body requires good bacteria. It requires a ratio of good and bad bacteria. It needs good bacteria. If you have more good bacteria, you have a stronger immunity. And here we have the whole world trying to you know, build immunity all the time to prevent diseases, which is great. But if you think just eating superfoods that promise strong immunity or drinking your juices and eating your fruits is going to boost your immunity alone, you're mistaken if you have the wrong ratio of bacteria in your system. You can eat organic vegetables and fruits and all of that stuff, but it takes one course of antibiotics to wipe out all of the good bacteria, most of it, in your gut. And that's why people, children, adults who take antibiotics, they usually get diarrhea. They get stomach cramps. Because once you have no good bacteria left in your system, the next thing you get is diarrhea and loose motions. So please understand, if your doctor doesn't prescribe you a probiotic with an antibiotic, please do it on your own. Now, you don't have to buy expensive probiotics in the market. You can do something as simple as cultured vegetables. You can do something as simple as probiotics that are made at home. You take a little bit of white rice, you store it in a little clay pot, cover it with water, put a lid on it, soak it overnight, and in the morning you have that. That is a probiotic. Fermented foods also have naturally occurring probiotics. And then you have kombuchas, and you have kimchi, and you have kefir, and all of these things. There are enough of probiotics which are available to everyone out there, especially with children. A one, a one week course of antibiotics is enough to ruin their immunity and their gut bacteria for the next one to two years. You have to understand that if your child is going through antibiotics, okay, please make sure that they take a probiotic along with it, including your parents, including yourselves. This has to reach everyone because I can't tell you how many people out there do courses and courses of antibiotics without probiotics. Now, if you do this, it's not just diarrhea, it's not just your gut bacteria, but you tend to get more acidic. You tend to have more bloating and then people wonder, why am I acidic? Why am I having all this bloating and flatulence? That's because your gut health is ruined. And when your gut health gets more and more ruined, then you have autoimmune disorders like Hashimoto's, Graves, Crohn's, psoriasis, eczema, all of that stuff. You have allergies like sinuses, I mean you have sinuses, you have asthmas, you have skin problems and these are the root causes if someone's gone through antibiotics. There's no point taking medication and only suppressing the symptom more and more. So simple, if you've gone through antibiotics, please take probiotics for even 15 days to a month after you finish your course of antibiotics. It's extremely important that you keep populating your colony of good bacteria because 80% to 90% of your immunity starts in your gut. So you either have the right environment of your gut to support your entire function of your body and immunity and including your mind. Serotonin is made in your gut. It is not made in your brain. So if you have the wrong gut bacteria, we have less ser serotonin and that's why we have depression and anxiety and all of those things. And then we need to take pills, which are nothing but synthetic serotonin going into our mind because our own guts are not making enough of it the right way. So please, the takeaway from this is Antibiotics means a probiotic. It's as simple as that. Choose the kind of probiotic that you want, but never take an antibiotic without a probiotic. It's as simple as that. This itself can help you prevent so many, so many issues that will later manifest into your bodies into something really, really serious. Have a good evening, everyone.